Hello, my name is Kate and this is a Home Bargains haul. I feel like I haven't done one of these in ages, so I think it's probably been, um, I don't know, about a month or so. I did do a mini Home Bargains haul um, and I'll link that vlog below when I went shopping in Home Bargains. Um, but this is like a proper sit down one, so I've got loads to show you. Um, I spent over £100 in Home Bargains and I got mostly Christmas things um so lots of things i'm going to be using in our house um i found this as second hand christmas items as well but i'm just going to show you all the things in home bargains because you can't always find exactly what you want second hand but you just never know what's in the charity shops um but home bargains is so reasonable that i love shopping there it's kind of my favorite shop alongside i've got charity shops and car boot sales and then it's home bargains and poundland and tk max but i find that um obviously a lot more expensive than home bargains so loads of items to show you um i'm gonna start off with i've got a huge bag here um i actually only went in i think i just went in for some snacks and then came out with all this stuff so i bought one of these huge oh my god this is so heavy home bargains bags because normal ones weren't going to cut it and my little ones i brought with me um they were way too small for all of this so i've got tons to show you so what I'm going to do is, I've got the receipt as well here, so I won't um, make up any prices. Not that I do that, but sometimes you're unsure with home bargains prices because they're not always on the, I think they're never on the things, are they? They're just um, on the receipt or on like on the shelf. Um, right, so I'm going to start off with some really simple things, some socks. Okay, and I'm trying, I'm going to try not to edit this. Hang on, I haven't done my mug of the day. I've got to do my mug of the day first before I get into it. Um, so if you watched last weekend's um, haul, I did a car boot sale haul um, and I found this um, mug at the car boot sale. So that was in last week's video. If you want to see it, I found loads of amazing bargains, um, a Kath Kirsten bag and some lovely bits and bobs. So I'll link that in the description in case you want to see um, the bargains that I found at the indoor car boot sale. And this was 50p, this is my mug of the day. And I've got um, a hot chocolate in there with marshmallows. I don't know if you can see that. Mm. Bit of a slurp there, I do apologize. Um, but that is lovely. That's a little hot chocolate. Little hot chocolate is really nice. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with some socks, which is quite boring, but these are such nice socks. Um, so these say thermal cozies, ladies fashion socks. I wouldn't say they're, um. I wouldn't say they're fashion, I would say festive. Um, and there's three socks, three pairs of socks, and they're really thick. Thermal cozies, size four to seven, and I'm size six. And they were, this is the hard part. Oh, where are they gone? You can never find them on your receipt. So if you do a home bargain sort, ah, no, pom-pom fleece, that's coming up. Oh no, I can't find them. Where have you gone? Snow fairy. I said this was um, a non-edit one. This is going to be the most... Ah, oh no, that's children's socks. Tights. I love your legs tights. Lined black. I don't know, maybe 2 99 I can't even see them. Ah, 2 99 I found them. 2 99 for those. Um, I also bought some Neon Wave Welly socks. Welly socks. I got two pairs of those. Um, And there's like glittery, really sort of quite cosy, thick socks. But they're not too tight at the top. And they were 149. I put them on my receipt. So 149 for those socks. Because I need socks. I just kind of all of a sudden you just well, I've just run out. All my thick ones have gone somewhere. They've disappeared. So I needed some more socks. Um I've also bought this lovely um thick throw. This is a pom-pom throw. And it was the only white one they had. I've not seen them in white before. They probably do sell them, but I think this is kind of really sort of wintry and cosy um and we can also use this uh, for our wedding next year we're gonna have loads of blankets for the evening if people get cold um and i just i love well that's the cat by the way if you can see him he's up to no good bestie cat so he's like running up and down the stairs they go to the loft in case you're wondering um and i think that was 5.99 i've already said that didn't i when i just found it where have you gone on here fleece line now that's tights where have they gone on here? Uh, I think it's five ninety nine. Let me just look for five nine six ninety nine. There we go. This is gonna be like a really boring haul haul because all I'll be doing is looking for prices on the receipt. Six ninety nine for this throw. I'm not sure how big it is because it's a bit ripped, but it says well here it is one two seven times one two five centimeters. So not the biggest throw, but really good for like seven pounds. 
Um, I'll just pop that down. They're besties now, the cats and the curtains. Um, I bought some duck fillets for Rufus and Benny because they love these. And they were, oh, there we go, 99p. I found that straight away. So hopefully I can get better with the receipt. 99p and the dogs go crazy for those. Um, they love a gravy bone, but the duck fillet sends them loopy because they love it so much. I also bought quite a few of these lip balms. So if you've watched any of my home bargains hauls before, I tend to pick these up because I think they are brilliant. They're so good. And it's a lot cheaper to buy them in home bargains and boots. And um, these were, back to the receipt, £1.69. And I think in boots are like a pound more, which isn't loads, but you're still saving. Well, it is loads really, isn't it? Because it's like a whole pound more. So yeah, £1.69 for these lip balms. And I think they're the best one because they're kind of medicated. So they really like sort your lips out. I love them. I've been using them for years, actually, those ones. I also bought a diary. I normally buy like a posh diary. Not that posh, actually, just like a TK Maxx one. Or I used to use a Filofax diaries. But then I saw this and thought, that'll do. It's a 2020 diary. It's quite a thick one. And this was, where is it? I just saw it. Oh, there we go. £1.49 A5 diary with elastic. And inside, um, you've kind of got, I think it's a week to two pages. I love a diary. Um, and I just thought £1.49 is such a good price. And that's quite sweet as well. Um, so I thought I'd grab my diary because I do need to start filling it in now. Um, okay, what else have we got here? These are holly and berry lights and i thought i'd get these for our mantelpiece around our fireplace i've got a log burner and these are really pretty on top and there's 60 led lights for indoor use only it says so hopefully oh, i didn't check if these are warm or white because i love the warm hopefully they will be warm i'm sure they'd be fine anyway and i'll just find out how much these were on the receipt and they were no, no, that's the gin. I've got some gin to show you as well. Um, where are they? Lights. Why is this the hardest receipt? There we go. Five ninety nine for these holly and berry lights. So once they're all set up, I will show you what they look like when they're on our mantelpiece. Okay. Um, I bought Toby um a little Christmas present. So um, I'll probably give this this to him before Christmas because we're going away um on holiday for Christmas. So I shall give this to him before, I think, that, oh, there we go, prices on it. Yay, thanks Home Bargains. That was one ninety nine for this um, match annual 2020 because Toby is, he is, um, he's football mad. I bought loads and loads of tights because it's so cold at the moment. I've been wearing thermal tights and I just don't want to wear any others. So I thought I would stock up on these tights. I've got something in here that's glittery, so I needed to buy a separate bag because otherwise the glitter would have gone everywhere. Um, right, so, hang on a sec. Let me find these tights. No, they're socks. Right, three pairs, oh no, four pairs. Four pairs of tights. So I bought these, oh, I've got some stuff on them. Luxury, soft touch, opaque tights. And I really like the Home Bargains tights. And I bought these in a large, extra large, because I hate tight tights, you know, and they're tight around the waist. That really annoys me. And they were £1.69, which is good, isn't it, for a pair of tights. And then I bought two sets. I've got stuff on that bag. I think it's the glitter. Um, two of these. Did I just say two sets? Two of these, two pairs of these tights. And they, they're the um, thermal cable tights. So they've got that, like, texture on them. I don't know if you can see them and I really like the look of those and I think they make you feel even warmer and they are just so cozy they're fleece lined on the inside um so two pairs of those and they were I think they were 2 dollars yeah fleece lined cable knit tights 2 dollars and the last pair of tights for these these are the ones I normally buy Thermal tights, already said that. These are fleece lined, warm, soft, cozy, 300 denier tights. Denier, 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 must be denier. Um, and they were 2 99 as well. I normally get these, so they're nice and um, nice and cozy and nice and stretchy around the waist. So I hate when they 
and they restrict you like i said before so that's all the tights and then i've got oh dog treats oh another one of those lip balms 169 um i bought this so me and toby can make these um this year so i'm not going to be doing vlogmas um, but I will do extra Christmas videos because we're going away. I thought there's not going to be enough time to like complete Vlogmas. So I'll do it next year. But I thought this year I'll just do some extra videos. And this is a make your own gingerbread man. It includes a uh, set. It includes gingerbread mixture. No, Bessie. That's the bed. It's a, he's like trying to rip our velvet bed. It includes gingerbread mixture, icing sugar, candy beads, and the cutter as well and if you did watch my vlogmas from last year i made a gingerbread house um which was uh, quite disastrous it was fun doing it with toby we made it like we did it all and then it all like fell apart and we ate, we ate it for like we had it for about a week and i just kept eating it so i thought i wouldn't do that this year but i'd go for this and it was oh i found it straight away look at that one pound 99 for this um little kit so i will make this with toby and hopefully we'll do a video on making um, the gingerbread men and he'll really enjoy that he loves does love a bit of baking um i well, got a couple of these flameless log things for our log burner because um sometimes when we make a fire it's really easy to just light one of these these are 99p each and you just open up one side set it on fire in the log burner so you can't just use this in your house you've got to have a log burner or an open fire obviously i don't know what i'm saying just in case um and then yeah that sets off your sets off your log burner and burns for up to two hours so if i just want like the look of it and i've got time to light the fire i could just do this um lee doesn't really like these he thinks they're a bit of um a bit of a waste but they are just handy when you need them now and again you want like instant instant flames in your log burner um i got a little present each for benny and rufus because we're going away for christmas um i thought i would uh leave these rufus and benny are going to be together for christmas so i thought i'd give them a little treat each a little gravy well they're not gravy but they're milky bones a milky bone bauble these are one pound 49 i'm pretty sure they're 149 i'll just check my receipt yeah festive bauble 149 um and the make is weber oh no webox webox and they just say i think they're milky bones it just says festive treat for your dog yeah milk biscuits a complimentary pet food for adult dogs and they're just like little baubles i can put on the tree and that's for them this christmas because i'm not going to be with rufus or benny so they'll have a little treat each and that is everything in the big bag so i bought these oh, got some stuff on them luxury soft touch opaque tights and i really like the home bargains tights and i bought these in a large extra large because i hate tight tights you know and they're tight around the waist that really annoys me and they were one pound 69 which is good isn't it for a pair of tights and then i bought two sets i've got stuff on that bag i think it's the glitter um two of these did i just say two sets two of these two pairs of these tights and they they're the um thermal cable tights so they've got that like texture on them i don't know if you can see them and i really like the look of those and i think they make you feel even warmer and they are just so cozy they're fleece lined on the inside um so two pairs of those and they were i think they were 2.99 yeah fleece lined cable knit tights 2.99 and the last pair of tights for these these are the ones i normally buy thermal tights already said that these are fleece lined warm soft cozy 300 denier tights denier 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 must be denier um and they were 2.99 as well i normally get these so they're nice and um nice and cozy and nice and stretchy around the waist i hate when they when they restrict you like i said before so that's all the tights and then i've got oh dog treats oh another one of those lip balms 169 um i bought this so me and toby can make these um this year so i'm not going to be doing vlogmas um but i will do extra christmas videos because we're going away i thought there's not going to be enough time to like complete vlogmas so i'll do it next year but i thought this year i'll just do some extra videos and this is a make your own gingerbread man it includes a uh, set it includes gingerbread mixture no bestie that's the bed 
to, he's like trying to rip our velvet bed, includes gingerbread mixture, icing sugar, candy beads, and the cutter as well. And if you did watch my vlogmas from last year, I made a gingerbread house, um, which was uh, quite disastrous. It was fun doing it with Toby. We made it like, we did it all, and then it all like fell apart and we ate, we ate it for, like we had it for about a week and I just kept eating it. So I thought I wouldn't do that this year, but I'd go for this. And it was, oh, I found it straight away. Look at that. One pound ninety nine for this um, little kit. So I will make this with Toby and hopefully we'll do a video on making um, the gingerbread men and he'll really enjoy that. He loves does love a bit of baking. Um, well, we've got a couple of these flameless log things for our log burner because then um, sometimes when we make a fire it's really easy to just light one of these. These are 99p each and you just open up one side, set it on fire in the log burner so you can't just use this in your house, you've got to have a log burner or an open fire obviously I don't know what I'm saying just in case um and then yeah that sets off your sets off your log burner and burns for up to two hours so if I just want like the look of it and I've got time to light the fire I could just do this um Lee doesn't really like these he thinks they're a bit of um a bit of a waste but they are just handy when you need them now and again you want like instant instant flames in your log burner um I got a little present each for Benny and Rufus because we're going away for Christmas um I thought I would uh, leave these. Rufus and Benny are going to be together for Christmas. So I thought I'd give them a little treat each. A little gravy. Well, they're not gravy. But they're milky bones. A milky bone bauble. These are £1.49. I'm pretty sure they're £1.49. I'll just check my receipt. Yeah, festive bauble, £1.49. Um, and the make is Weber. Oh, no, Webox. Webox and... They just say, I think they're milky bones. It just says festive treat for your dog. Yeah, milk biscuits, a complimentary pet food for adult dogs. And they're just like little baubles I can put on the tree and that's for them this Christmas because I'm not going to be with Rufus or Benny. So they'll have a little treat each. And that is everything in the big bag. So I'll just put that down on the floor. And then in here, in my separate bag, is a very glittery like garland thing but it's gonna go everywhere and this was there we go 3.99 i've got some things here to show you that were quite expensive but these were 3.99 this is called pine garland berry and pine cones 3.99 and it's got a little um a little bit there that you must clip it onto something and then it's just all these little like a big long garland this is glitter going everywhere though like glitter and white stuff and i'm going to put that probably on along the mantelpiece as well or that would be really nice on the table or you could do that put that around something and make your own wreath or, or you could do whatever really but it's quite long so there's two in here just oh, glitter's literally just going everywhere so if you can see it there i'm not sure how long it is in total this is noel noel on that there you go i've opened it up but how pretty is that i wasn't going to get it and then i was like no i think i will i think it looks quite realistic as well and you can bend it and stretch it into all different shapes and then it's literally snowing now with all the stuff coming on so i'm just going to pop that back in there There's two of them <laughs> in there they are yeah glitter is going everywhere Okay, and then the last few things I'm going to show you is, um, they're to the left of me here, and I saw these, and this is um, when I had to go back and get a trolley, so if you watched my video the other day, when I went shopping um, last week, um, I did a, well I started filming, and then I was like, oh no, I'm going to have to go out and get a trolley, because I was, you know, had, I couldn't carry these, um, and these were £16.99 each, and they're quite large. So if you're wondering what I bought that day, this was the reason why I needed um, a trolley. And this is a, oh, wrong way. <laughs> um, I think there's some glitter in my face. This is a seven foot light up garland. And it just says on the front, 30 LED warm white lights, battery operated, timer function, which is good, isn't it? So you can, you know, set the timer on it. And it says, try me there. So I'm just pressing the little button. So that's what it looks like um, when you light it up. Obviously, it's going to be a bit brighter with batteries and then in the evening. And it says for indoor, 
or outdoor use and it's seven foot yeah seven foot says it on there and i thought this would look really like to put it on my shoulder like a ghetto blaster um i thought this would look really nice around our front door so either right around the door depending on how long it is and well not how long it's but how long it sort of stretches when we put it around the door or on our like surround bit so we've got a little lovely um kind of an what do you call it like a porch thing. yeah a porch um so this might look pretty on the porch i'll have to see but i'm kind of thinking around the door but it looks lovely it's got all the different um it's got pine cones on there and it's got little berries little bits of spray and yeah i just think it's lovely so i ended up getting three of those because i thought if i get one it might not be, might not be big enough so I thought I'd get another and then I thought oh, I might need one for the top, which might be a bit excessive. I haven't got anything like this and I think something like this will last years and years, won't it? Like I keep, I keep getting it out every Christmas and I'll let you know um, where they go. I felt like um, I was really like splurging when I bought all these. I haven't spent like over £100 in ages. It's a lot of money, but I did get like loads for my money and I think these are brilliant, these... Um, these garlands so hopefully they'll look nice they'll probably look nice in the house as well but um i think they're gonna go on the outside so that is everything in this home bargains haul i hope you enjoyed it so let me know what your favorite item was out of everything also oh there's a cat always up there if you have um used these before where did you put them let me know if you've bought these um where you put them or anything else that i've bought any sort of tips for anything i don't know not that there probably is any tips, but just in case. Um, yeah, so comment below with your favourite item. And if you enjoyed the video, give it a like. And if you haven't subscribed, then please do. And I will speak to you on Wednesday. I'm going to do another shopping video for Wednesday. So I'll have a little look around the charity shops. And then I'll have a haul for Friday. But I'm not sure. I think it's going to be a charity shop haul for Friday. And then the weekend vlog again um, for Monday. So thanks for watching. Um, in the meantime, come over to Instagram. I'm Kate McCabe and my house account is Kate's Homely Home. And I will speak to you soon. They'll be linked in the description in case you want to look on Instagram. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you... Oh, Jim. I was about to go and I forgot that I haven't shown you this amazing gin. I say amazing, I haven't tried it yet. Um, so this is one of the gins that Home Bargains sell. And I've tried the unicorn gin and that's really nice. It's really sweet, but it's, it's delicious. So I thought I would try the Snow Fairy Gin Liqueur. This is, a, says on the front, a small batch gin traditionally distilled and cut with fairy water infused with cinnamon spice and orange shake to awake the magic limited limited release um or limited edition what limited release mean i suppose i'd say edition but that's okay release is fine um and it says alcohol 20 percent, so not quite as strong as some of the other gins which is good because you don't always want like <laughs> 40 percent gin all the time if you just want like a little gin um so i'm just shaking it to make it look like um Oh, it's like the sh shower creme. Shower creme. If you watch that vlog from the summer, me and Louise were going on about the shower creme gin from um, from that from the party. But that was really nice. So I'm sure this is going to be gorgeous. Look at that pretty colours. And I just like the fact it's quite festive with the cinnamon spice and orange. So hopefully that will be nice. I'll let you know um, what it's like in a vlog. So I'm recording this in advance. Um, so I'll probably know what it's like by the time you watch this. It should be in the vlog that went on on Monday so if you want to find out what this is like hopefully I'll remember in the vlog um, I'll let you know if not ask me in the comments and I'll tell you then so thanks for watching I'll speak to you soon bye